can't throw the darts either, darn. Captain Corker. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, why do you ask? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting as many long enough to get your back, Jack? What do you mean again? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Oh. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new errand boy out of it. That's me. But what the fuck's your problem? Oh, ho, ho. you want to know what my problem is? All right, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. Cape. I get it. Um. I make my own fate. I am an anime protagonist. Uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. Uh, is there a point to this? You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your sire. And who be you? I'm Damsel, dead mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Troy rules out. Pissed, you don't say. Drink some bad blood or something? Hmm. Hey, I don't know LaCroix, but I'm cool with Nice though. Hey, Cammy. I don't apologize often, but it's just with all the shit that's been going down lately. And on top of it, this plague bear getting the CDC's attention, maybe I misjudged you once. Tell me what the plague bear is. A plague bear's a plant that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And that gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. So how do we get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Hmm. All right, they helped me out. I'll help you. One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the sky in apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. All right, fine, Paul. Uh, why is it always ghouls? Fine, I'll check Wait, it out. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Uh, okay. So where's nines? The upstairs? Hey, I heard that. Okay. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, host a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today for? Mmm. Go get nines before I send you on an errand to find your injured pride. Nines is expecting you. Have some manners and don't wear out your welcome. I'm skeleton. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Like I said, I need to see nine. So then go on up and see her. You're free to do as you please here. Okay, thank you. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Okay. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Isn't the prince the leader of the Camarilla? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. But aren't you a part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. Oh, wow. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. 
See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to win. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. So what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. Anarch-free state? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Mm hmm. Sounds like you're the prince. You're the non-conforming non-conformist. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're <laughs> risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Uh, have you tried talking to them? I got their meeting right here. Oh my god, it's a gun! So you're not a fan? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. So, okay. Uh, yeah, any advice? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Oh yeah, I punch real good. I'm Pope Malone. Thanks, Nine. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Alright. Ho ho! Well, well. Look who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, kiddo? Uh, is I? Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? Are you telling me I could have played skee-ball? <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Yeah, pretty much. It wasn't so bad, though. Well, if you're cool with that treatment, you'll make a great Camarilla. They love pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a pussy. I'm just saying, that's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> uh, send me to the Elizabeth Dane. Have you ever heard of it, though? Why? Planning on visiting? Yeah. Oh, really? Why, what's up, Jack? The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? I'm gonna lie. No. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. But why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires that if you trace your lineage way back... There's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. He's asleep the whole time? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. Uh, I'm guessing when he says hungry, you mean like, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of people dead. It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end. The apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. For real, real? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. 
the Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Hmm. I wonder if it's true. Well, kiddo, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> no promises. Oh shit, no promises right there. How much for a condom? One one dollar for a dirty condom? Hell yeah. Dirty as in maybe it's like all smudged up or dirty as in it's been used. Who knows? Goddamn cannons. You guys are all the I'm out of here. Hey yo bums! What's the word on the street, bum? What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! Need to ask you about sickness is plaguing the homeless? What if I give you a dollar? Here's 20 bucks. Oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill. He's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. That's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Tin Can Bill, where is he? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Bye bye. I used to be up front. Oh, I can keep going further down. Oh, hey. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Tell me where's Paul. Mm, tell me why I want to know about this epidemic. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Oh, thanks for the 35 years. I'm getting old. 35 years. Thanks, Risu. Uh, here's five whole dollar he dues. <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> for medicinal purposes, you know. Well, of course. <laughs> Now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. With well, the way you smell, I'm not surprised they think that. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. Does that mean it was a Nosferatu? Just, just, just tell me where he came from. <coughs> came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> Jesus Christ! You die already? Bye bye. Right, tea bag him a little bit. There we go. Apparently, my character hates the homeless. <laughs> yes, yeah, crawling here. Here we go. We. Oh God, I'm actually swimming. Oh Jesus, what is this? What's happening to me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I see. It came out a little. Hole. There's a way up here, huh? Okay, so that's an exit. The 
vampires don't breathe? Okay. Tasty. Changes color, you see that? Try going around first. I'm guessing this is locked, right? Oh, I can open it, of course. And there we go. Okay, easy. Random hole here. Okay. It blends in so well. I'm kind of curious if it was meant to be a trap. Hey, what's going on here? I think I accidentally skipped the line. Uh, hey, what's going on? You got a name or something? Business card? Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ridden mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Why are you feeding on the homeless? They are the weak. Sick. Hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the other vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. <laughs> uh, preach on, brother! The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the Ninth Circle. <laughs> ninth Circle? I don't know what that is, but I like the sound of it. Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm joining. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! Damn, here I thought I was going to be friends. Oh well, your funeral. I'm going to click you so good, dude. bag. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Hey, you okay? Uh, I don't think that one's okay. There we go. Open. Oh, I see. Yeah, he'll be alright. He'll recover. Yellow bar means you got piss eyes now? Oh, I'm not sure if that's cool or bad. I'm gonna say it's a negative. I got the jaundice. Seth. I did thing. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Uh, now you're talking. Hope they're more challenging than the last one. Later. Hey, I heard that. As you should. So I guess we can just kill those vampires openly? I don't know. I'll report them to the CDC. Paul? <gasps> I see loot. Paul could be dead.
No. No, he's alright. Just napping. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Just calling to see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Ugh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pick me up some cold medicine at the store? <coughs> I hate to bother you, but I can't seem to get out of bed. <coughs> the code on my door is 1203. Hey, listen, I, uh... Had a really good time the other night. Maybe we could do it again sometime. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, bye. I hate when broads just ramble about having sex and how good it was. Twelve oh three. Okay. Not sure where you live, Hannah, but thanks. Yippee! Get off of me. The uh, email. Caroline. Darn. Upcoming shows. Uh, show number 17. Hospital horror. Dilapidated hospital in downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she is still has patience to serve. Show 18. Eternal unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors... With more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Okay. Alright. Quiot. Don't miss this. Alright. Facts. What does it say, though? I'll have to stand up on your nightstand to read it. Need new furniture? Shop at Sofa King. We are so fucking great. Nice. What am I about to pick up here? Oh, shot glass. <laughs> they sound like real shot glasses. Email. Darn. Okay. Apartment. Notez. Uh, geez, apt uh, one. Simon Milligan. He's on TV, so odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta keep an eye on him. Ooh. Sean Milton. He's a slob. He's never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. But if that guy wasn't there, I'd be watching all the time. Georgia Welsh. This rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password on her door is 9648. But maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties auction off online. Hell yeah, this guy's a pervert. Vacant. No reason to keep an eye on this one. Paul Anderson. I thought uh, there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. I'll keep the tape rolling. I guess she's in apartment 6 then. Hannah Glazer. The gold mine. Something hot is always something down in there. Wait. Something hot is always going down in there. And that's something I is usually Hannah herself. Gotcha. Okay. Is that, is that the Hannah room? Oh. I guess it is. God. What a beepy thingy. Very loud. This is where the hot stuff goes down, right? Anybody got any, um, hot stuff? I got the cold medicine. Oh, you're doing fine. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? I'm Pope Malone. <laughs> Mmm Paul sent me. I'm a doctor. You sound pretty sick. <coughs> I don't really know. I I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> oh no. I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I, I can't remember. 
Uh, so where'd you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. And who that? She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. I hope it was worth it. What's her name? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> Can't seem to get it out of my head. Uh, anything else you can tell you she's anything at all? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> well, the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? Ah, jeez. <laughs> uh, um, so where is Jezebel Locke? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <laughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Uh, he's taking a fucking dirt nap and you're next. <laughs> no, Paul. It's not true. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Rest in peace, bitch. <laughs> okay. God, why did I become so heartless? Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Yo, you know yes. where Jezebel is? Yes, Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Okay. Listen, I really need to get in a room. I'm sorry, sir. But if I went back to the office and made a key for everyone who told me that, I'd have lost my job a long time ago. Now, unless there's something else, I have work to attend to. Um, yo, attend to this later. I'm hoping I did like a degeneration X crotch chop right in this face. Dun 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 Hack the computer in the suites. Wealth. Okay. Um. Albany Sweet. Queen Sweet. Nope, not on way. Manhattan Sweet. Ithaca. Brooklyn. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, and then Buffalo. Oh, whoops. Hey, is that Boris man? <laughs> He's fucking dead. Does it work here too? Oh. Power and wealth. Excellent. Um, uh, Lock J. Okay. Chekhov B. Planet La Femme. Nice. Ten dollar pay per view. Johannesson Ah. Jones A. Bottle of Champ de Charlotte. Okay. Let's see if I can make a fucking room key or something in the in the break room. I'm sure. Thanks. Y'all saw nothing. This man jagged off while eating steak and lobster. <laughs> 
Truly, he was. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, you can see me through the wall! Yeah. Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? I take it you're not Jezebel because you're asking about Jezebel unless you speak in the third person. Plus, you're not the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? Uh, so what have you been doing around here? What's, what's been going on? Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Ah, oh, she's a gift giver, but I'm not a bug catcher, so let's see here. Um... Not that I'm complaining, but don't you usually stick to whores like Hannah? Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? I guess it sounds okay, but I think I'd rather just tear your head off. There we go. Perfect. Oh god, I'm having a seizure. Oh, help me. Jesus, Jesus Christ, what's going on? Hey, stop right there! Okay, I'm not stopping right there. Oh god, she's diseased! Oh! Yeah. Oh god, you have a fucking... Get out of here with that. Why am I jittery? Is it because I talked through a door? Yeah, wombo combo! Didn't know who you were dealing with, did ya? All right, easy enough. You got any cool loot? A flyer. Hmm. I am in light hund. Okay. Killed the second plague, plague bearer. And found a flyer with a strange symbol. You should talk to damsel about this. That makes sense. Or she could send me on the next fetch quest. 